Hello everyone, it's Sheila back again. Um, I'm back with a, a little tip for spacing your buttonholes. If you're doing um, a cardigan like this one is, where you have the, um, the band knitted sideways, which I like to do on um, small cardigans. I like to do the, um, the bands this way. And then you have to do the other band that's the button band and this is the buttonhole band and um, a little tip for spacing how to space out your um, your buttons I put markers I work out exactly where I'm going to put the um, the buttonholes and then I place a marker on the stitch where I'm going to knit two together here as you can see and this here has 73 stitches and I always start with the second, the knit stitch, that's the first knit stitch there. And I start with the second knit, knit, stitch, knit stitch and put a, part, um, a marker in there. And then I've worked out for this number of stitches, I've got one, two, three, four, five. And then on the sixth one, I've put another marker. And then as you can't work out the number of stitches between each marker evenly because of the number of stitches um, that I have on. The next one is one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've placed the marker on the seventh one. The same with the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six on the seventh one. And this one, one, two, three, four, five, six on the seventh one. And on the last one, it's one, two, three, four, five on the sixth marker. So I've got one knit stitch left at the end. The same as the, the first one up here and the last one, I have five stitch markers and all the other ones are six in between. That's how I work out the, um, the buttonholes. And now when I knit these, um, I'm going to show you the, the buttons. I have my button box here. This is the size button I'm going to put on. And these are 16 millimeter. Um, if it was a smaller cardigan, I would probably put there's buttons. I think that size is 14 millimeter. You can see it's a little bit um, smaller. So I'll need a little bit bigger buttonhole for these ones. I'll put that away. It's handy that box because it's got all those compartments at the end and it's compartments on the other on upside down. You just turn it upside down and it, I could do with a few more of these actually. I've got a lot more buttons. <laughs> so when I knit this the first stitch is a knit. I'm going to knit that stitch, knit the second stitch, curl the third stitch, and now I'm coming to the the stitch where I'm going to do the um the buttonhole. It's for a slightly larger button, so I'm taking the wool over the needle once and then twice and then I'm knitting those two stitches together this phone keeps going blurry and then I'm going on to the the next buttonhole And then going once, twice over the needle again and knitting into those two next two stitches because that's the next one where the marker is. Now 
and I'm at the next marker again so I'm going twice over the needle and knitting those two stitches together It's the next buttonhole, twice over the needle, knitting those two stitches together. And that the next marker, twice over the needle. Knitting those next two stitches together. Knit on. Hold on. And then on the next row, you'll knit one. Purl one, knit one. Now you have two stitches together there, and you purl th through one stitch and take them both off the needle, and then carry on to the next one. There you can see you have a larger hole than you would have normally. And there you come to the, the buttonhole again. Just pull that stitch and take both off the needle. And there you have a larger buttonhole again. And your buttonhole again, take both stitches off the needle. And that's another buttonhole. And that's the last buttonhole. There you can see it's a larger buttonhole at the I'll try one of these buttons and then it'll go through all right. I might have to wait until I knit a couple more rows for the test it properly, but but you can see the button goes through there without any problem.
so that's all the buttons sewn on and as you can see it's a good size buttonhole buttons open up without any trouble and close again and that's about the size of the the buttonhole I do for these buttons are 16 millimetre and that's how I do the buttonholes for a, a slightly larger button but I don't want to have to do that thing where you cast stitches off and cast stitches on again for the buttonhole so that's a much better way for me to do to do the buttonholes where you want them just slightly larger and for anybody that's interested these buttons are called mill edge buttons and you can buy them on eBay I bought, I bought quite a few um, they only seem to have pastel shades in them but um, you can buy packs I, th I think there was over a hundred packs for about six pound something that are going on eBay so they're quite cheap so that's my little bit just a little tip for anybody doing buttonholes and make sure that they fit the buttons that they've got for the cardigan so thumbs up and subscribe and when i get around to doing another tutorial sometime i'll show it to you goodbye for now